All crazy, how about Shimei Shai? How to cut Matthew 5.44 in two minutes. Matthew 5.44, but I say unto you, love your enemies. So Christians will go here and say, look, the Israelites, you Jews, you people, you people, you need to love those who enslaved you, who oppressed you. Love the nations who are not Israelites. Let's see if that's what Jesus meant or not. Luke 19, 27. But those mine enemies, Jesus says he has enemies. Let's see if he's going to love them and pray for them or not. Which would not that I should reign over them, bring hither and slay them. Jesus is not saying to love these enemies here and do good to these enemies here. He's going to kill them. Here's Deuteronomy 30 and 7. And the Lord thy God will put all these curses upon thine enemies. So as we just read in Deuteronomy 30, which is a kingdom connotative scripture, meaning an eschatological prophecy, a future event that hasn't happened yet. Why is God saying he's going to put the curses on our enemies? Part of the curses in Deuteronomy 28 are the Israelites going in slavery, being oppressed with yokes of iron on our neck. Now, God said he's going to take all of that and put it on our enemies. Here's Micah chapter 5, verse 8. And the remnant of Jacob shall be among the Gentile liver. Here's the key point. And thine hand, verse 9, shall be lifted up upon thine adversaries, and all thine enemies shall be cut off. Here's another eschatological prophecy that is stating that the Israelites is in tearing to pieces their enemies. That doesn't sound like Matthew 5, 44, loving your enemies. So what is Christ saying in Matthew 5 and 44? He's saying, love your enemies within your own nation. Here's Exodus 23 and 4 in the law, Torah. If thou meet thine enemy's ox or his ass going astray, thou shalt surely bring it back to him again. Moses prescribing a law about bringing our enemy's ox back or his donkey back. This is a law for the Israelites to deal with each other as brothers and neighbors within our own nation. He identifies them as an enemy though. Here's Micah 7 and 6. For the son dis dishonoreth the father, the daughter rises up against her mother. The daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. A man's enemies are the men of his own house.